Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a reading for you entitled Signs You Are About to Meet Your Soulmate. Okay, so this is for the hopeless romantics out there still awaiting their soulmate or their um, other half. Um, and we're going to be looking at what two tarot decks can re reveal about how um, you're going to meet them when and what's going to happen right before this takes place. So we're really going to be looking at signs and numbers here. Um, so hopefully you enjoy this reading. If you do, please feel free to leave behind a like so I know I'm uh, doing something good here towards the channel. Uh, and of course, to subscribe to get updates for when readings for your sign are posted. So this can be for Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Okay, let's have a look. Signs you are about to meet your soulmate. Okay, you've got the hermit. This is Virgo energy. Some of you are meeting this person during Virgo season, or it may be a, a, a Virgo. You've got the queen and the king of pentacles. I really want to say... Um, some of you are potentially in this relationship now, okay, you're in, you're with your soulmate now, or you're going to be in a different relationship, okay, by the time um, you meet them. So it's almost like you're going to be unavailable and you're going to be taken. And that's sort of, um, that's further symbolized here with the two of swords. Okay, so straight away I'm seeing a conflict in love. Okay, we've got the five of cups as well. Okay, judgment. Okay, Three of Swords. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like you are going to be caught up in a lover's triangle um, or there's going to be someone else in the picture here that is going to be in your life around the same time as your soulmate is going to come in. Okay, so for a lot of you, it could be that you're in a different relationship or it could be that you started seeing someone else, you started talking someone else to someone else or you've got a crush on someone else here as well. Okay, so... It could very well indicate that there is this either push and pull between an ex and this soulmate. Um, it makes me feel like you're going to have options, okay? For some reason, it's going to feel like uh, a decision is going to need to be made between you and this person. So um, signs you're about to meet your soulmate could very well indicate that you'll either be caught up in a lover's triangle or you'll be hung up between the past and the present. And you have a very important decision to make with the Two of Swords. Um the King of Pentacles is read as a Taurus, so for some of you, there's a strong Taurus coming in, and we also had the Hermit, which is the Virgo. Now, for a lot of you, the Hermit um, breaks away and has his own internal transformation. So seeing that um, uh, water signs, I feel like for a lot of you, it's either you're going to be caught up in this lover's triangle and you're going to be single, and that's a sign that your soulmate is coming in, or the Virgo um, energy could symbolize that you're sort of... um going to be doing your own thing, okay? For some of you, it's like you're going to start your own business or you're going to become more independent or you're going to do some freelance work or you're going to branch away from society or from convention in some way and do your own thing. And that's really could be one of the first steps um, or one of the first signs that your soulmate is about to come into your life here. But for a lot of you, I feel like with the king and the queen here, they are the last king and queen of the deck, okay? They are the last suit um, as, as the pentacles. And this is very powerful. And I think this is really symbolic here that for a lot of you, it's indicating that you've already started a relationship um, with your soulmate or you've been through some sort of pain or heartache you've done maybe this third party or this love triangle um you've you've been involved in this somehow already and the five five of cups is loss so it makes me think that you're going to lose something significant in your life before your soulmate comes in it could be a person a job a pet a career it could be losing a very valuable possession, but there's a big loss involved with the Five of Cups. So there's the, like sadness. You'll be sad about something, um, especially because this is you as water energy. Uh, you're going to be sad about something here. And it could even be with the Judgment card, um, something to do about like legal disputes. It could be a document, a visa application, anything to do with the legal realm. It could also be like a review or feeling judged. It's either you're going to be doing a lot of judging or there's a lot of judgment cast on you. It could be like you may have a 
a job review, okay, like a, um, a probation review uh, right before you meet your soulmate. It could be that you're involved in a legal battle. Um, it could be that a review is posted online about your work or your business or some services you provide. Um, something to do with feedback. But it, it's judgment card is also read as karma. So I wonder if this is like you're going to even out your karma, like your karmic debt. <laughs> And that's a sign, that's a big sign. Potentially you're going to sort of clear your conscience, okay? Um, and you know, the, the Virgo makes me think that you're going to be in a really vulnerable state. You might even feel very lonely before you meet this person. We've got the page, um, page of Pentacles here as well. So it makes me think that you're going to be trying to distract yourself with things. Something to do with side distractions, side jobs, side distractions, side lovers. That might be something you're engaging with um, or something that you're experiencing right before your soulmate comes into your life. Um, but it could be that you'll, you'll be hurt very deeply by a friend or a lover or an ex right before this person comes into your life. There's some sort of loss and heartache. Um, that you're going to be feeling or experiencing. And then that's when you're going to start to see, th that's like a sign here um, that you're about to have this person come into your life. Um, and you've got the numbers two, three, uh, five, and nine. And, and two has come up twice. And two is a relationship number. So it's either you're going to be ending one relationship, a very significant relationship in your life, okay? And then you meet your soulmate. Or the number two very much indicates you are in some sort of relationship status or somehow you're already intertwined into this person romantically, okay? You've been together intimately. Maybe you've dated. Maybe you just started talking. You know, maybe you've lived together. You've had, you've been in a significant number two energy with this person before or you currently are. Um, but let's lay out three more cards using the Rider Waite deck and see what else we can learn about this person or potentially how you'll meet. Okay, King of Pentacles has come up twice. Five of Swords has come up twice. And we've got the World card. Strong Taurus, a destined Taurus, um, or someone coming in. You might be meeting them in, in Taurus season, okay, which is super exciting. Um I feel like a lot of you are meeting through work or through travel. The world is like travel or online apps, online dating. It's someone foreign or someone a little bit different to you. It's someone who's quite cultured. Maybe they're bilingual. Um, there could be like an online connection or an online relationship at this point in time. For some of you, it could even be someone you're long uh, involved with long distance right now. Okay, but um, with the world card, I feel like the universe is sending you this person and they're going to sort of open up the world to you somehow. Um, for some of you, I feel like your soulmate is someone you might have even left or broken up with. Okay, Five of Swords um, has, sorry, it hasn't come up twice. It's only come up uh, once, but I feel like with the Five of Swords coming up, it can't point to the past or walking away from some, from, from this person. So for some of you, um, if, if you, if you're not leaving a present relationship and then meeting your soulmate, it's very likely that what could happen is, is that you've already met this soulmate. Um, you've either left them or you're on a break or you're in no contact um, currently with them. Or for some of you, you're meeting through work with the King of Cups. Um, again, the Three of Swords and three people here. This is something to do about a love triangle or jealousy amongst your current soulmate and your ex or a current soulmate and, and you have jealousy towards their ex. So... It can be this sort of dynamic here for a lot of you. Um, the five of swords can also be like recovering from a breakup or healing from a breakup. So some of you, um, it's almost like the sign here that you're about to meet them is like you're doing something for yourself to recover or to heal. Okay, so internal, um, this, this internal restoration, if you will, is something that you're going to do. And that's a big potent symbol here that you're going to meet um, this person. 
uh, around them. Okay, really, really powerful indeed. Um, I will leave it at that though, water signs. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to like um, this video and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So take care, everyone, and bye for now.